fuck has happened here now? Jesus Christ, it's... It keeps getting darker. Back to work. Oh yeah, that is right. He came home. I forget about that. Yeah. So I guess are you ready to leave are you ready for him to leave yet? <laughs> okay, I've saw you a couple days. Time to go back. <laughs> that sounds more like me than it really should, but, <laughs> yep. I actually asked my wife yesterday after we got home from GameStop when, when she was flying out. It's, um, I think she's leaving tonight said Thursday morning so that would be tonight uh, my reply was couldn't you leave like a day early <laughs> yeah um, can't you leave today <laughs> We're going to have to juice the clock because I can't see anything here. Hopefully I'm making some progress though. Hopefully. And we're going to have to do this every third time. So that means if you buy about 15 fields, you're going to be totally fucked. Yeah, my wife's having trouble at her job. Um, well, not really trouble, just the usual bullshit for them. Um, they're in the middle of some kind of audit from the federal government. So every I has to be dotted, every T crossed, every Every piece of paper in sequential order. Every little thing has to be perfect. And so even though the audit doesn't really apply to what she actually does at work, um, she's got to be sure that all of her stuff is in order. The least little thing could cost them billions of dollars. Oh, good grief. <laughs> I, I hate shit, stupid shit like that. Um, some people are just a pain in the ass. Let's see here. It certainly doesn't sound like it. <laughs> Certainly. I, I sure wasn't thinking he worked with a lot of rocket scientists. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, that's funny. Jeez.
Well, I have to say that that sounds pretty much like you work for the American government instead of the Canadian government. Um, it's nice to see that our neighbors to the north are no more organized than what we are. Um, and I don't think those damn Mexicans, I don't think they're anything about them is really that organized. Everybody's trying to get the hell out of there. But yeah, that sounds like um, government employees here. Most most government employees in America are they couldn't work anywhere else and they couldn't work in the real world. They're not smart enough. Yeah, that, it's not sounding very good there, um, definitely sound like something that would be pissing me the hell off if it was me. I think I've got most of it straight. Maybe I can actually finish this field now. Um, come on. No, not yet. sure what the hassle there was. I think I was trying to do 15 controls once again. Well, yeah, you know, um, looking at the list that was there for, that is there for your convenience, that is entirely too simple. Um, there's certainly no need to oversimplify things. You know, um, you certainly can't, can't expect people to do it the simple way when they can do the hard way and cause everybody a headache. Like you say, you're not exactly dealing with geniuses here, so you don't want to expect much out of them. Yeah, um, there used to be a lady at work. Um, who was always trying to get my wife's cell phone number out of people. Um, which is really stupid. Um, tell you how stupid this woman is now. She was going around trying to get people to give her my wife's cell phone number so she could call her at home. And of course, the people who have my wife's cell phone number would not 
they would never think of giving it out to somebody without her permission first, you know. But the real strange part, the real funny part of this story is you don't need to know my wife's cell phone number because if if you know her um, work number, you can call her on her cell phone because she has all her work numbers. Her work calls are automatically transferred to her cell phone. So all you got to do is call her work number and you can call her 24-7. You don't need her cell phone number. actually does not use the her work number at all her her home number she don't she don't use it um, she don't need it all you got to do is call her at her desk and her her cell phone will ring Yeah, sound like you might be working with some of my wife's co-workers' relatives. Sure starting to sound like it. That my wife's job, they have they have to have a number at at which they can be called any time, day or night. Because sometimes these computer systems fail in the middle of the night. And since they have eliminated third shift, they only have a day shift now. My wife has to be available around the clock. Um, she has to be as ready to go to work at 2 a.m. as she is at 2 p.m. And what suck, sucks for her because if she if she gets called in the middle of the night like that, she certainly does not get any extra compensation for it. Nor does she um, get any time off for it. Okay, I'm not I'm not feeling this at all here. I can't see anything. Um, I actually think I've got a, I've had a good taste of this plow. Um. And I don't like it. So I actually think what I'm going to do is move this out of the way and let the worker do that. Um, yeah. She's she's on call constantly. Every day, seven days a week. Actually her and her one co worker. There's only two people in the entire company that do her job. They do rotate weekends so that they can actually do stuff on the weekend without having to deal with these idiots. Um, so there's one weekend that every other weekend she can relax and not have to worry about the phone ringing. Come on. Okay. Once again, Farm 15 controls show up. <laughs> 